Greetings, viewers. Welcome to Regal Realm, your go-to source for all things royal. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an update on the latest happenings within the royal family. Tonight, we're going to discuss a recent event that has caused quite a stir within the royal community. As many of you may know, the Windsor 600 Guest Party is a highly anticipated annual event that celebrates loyalty and service to the royal family. This year's dinner and subsequent party was held at Windsor and attended by a set of around 600 guests, including His Majesty and Prince Edward. As usual, the senior royals were dressed to the nines, donning their finest jewels and attire. However, there was one notable absence from the guest list, Kate Middleton's absence. This exclusion came as a surprise to many, given that Kate is a well-respected member of the royal family and has always been present at these events in the past. Despite her absence, Kate still managed to make a statement with her attire. She chose to wear a dark hued dress, paired with a stunning lover's knot tiara, necklace, and earrings. Additionally, she wore two prominent accessories, an Alexa blue sash and a yellow ribbon brooch. These accessories are not just mere adornments, but carry significant meaning. The sash signifies Kate's role as a member of the Royal Victorian Order, an appointment she received a few years ago on her and Prince William's wedding anniversary. The yellow ribbon and badge, on the other hand, are part of the Royal Family Order, a separate honor bestowed upon Kate by the Queen last year. It's important to note that these royal orders are not just given out freely. Members of the family must log copious hours of work and complete many engagements before being considered for the honor. Even British diplomats and citizens who have served the monarchy are currently members of the Royal Victorian Order. However, Kate wasn't the only one excluded from the Windsor 600 guest party. Prince Andrew, who was hit by bombshell allegations of abuse in 2019, was also excluded from the guest list. The allegations, which he strenuously denies, resulted in him being stripped of his duties as a working royal. Despite this, the late queen did not remove him from his ceremonial role in the Royal Victorian Order. This decision has sparked controversy and calls for Prince Andrew to be removed from the order altogether. XMP Norman Baker, a serving member of the Privy Council, has stated that the Duke of York is warming his way back into public life and should be given the boot. The Sussexes, too, have suffered a similar fate. After leaving their roles as working royals and moving to the United States, they have been excluded from many royal events and activities. They were even asked to vacate Frogmore Cottage by Charles III, which many see as a sign that their relationship with the royal family has become strained. While the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have spoken their truth and detailed their grievances, it seems they have also burnt bridges along the way. The tattered ruins of Harry and William's childhood bond serve as a reminder of this. It's a sad state of affairs, but it's clear that the crown has been traded for the Hollywood sign, and bridges have been burnt that not even the United States Army Corps of Engineers can repair. Thank you for tuning in to Regal Realm. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an update on the latest royal news and events. Until next time.